Circle of control. All right, guys, we are gonna pound this lesson into your noggins here. Uh, if you're joining for the first time, my name is Dan Quayle, and I'm reading one passage a day for a year and a day from the Daily Stoic here uh, by Ryan Holiday. It is day 229, yes, we've been reading it that long, of 366, January 13th. Circle of control. We control our reasoned choice and all acts that depend on that moral will. What's not under our control are the body and any of its parts, our possessions, parents, siblings, children, or country, anything with which we might associate. That's from Epictetus in Discourses. Okay, this is important enough that it bears repeating, and we have said this over and over again. A wise person knows what's inside their circle of control and what is outside of it. The good news is that it's pretty easy to remember what is inside our control. According to the Stoics, the circle of control contains just one thing. Your mind. Okay? That's right. Even your physical body isn't completely within the circle. After all, you could be struck with a physical illness or impairment at any moment. You could be traveling in a foreign country and be thrown in jail. But this is all good news because it drastically reduces the amount of things that you need to think about. There is clarity and simplicity. While everyone else is running around with a list of responsibilities a mile long, things they're not actually responsible for, you've just got that one item list. That one item list. You've got just one thing to manage. Your choices, your will, your mind. So mind it. All right, guys. It's pretty straightforward. Mind your mind and uh, make better choices. It's all you have control over.